Hi guys, it's Ben here, and the Premier League is finally about to be back, and that means I'm back. I did not intend to be away this long. We haven't even spoken since West Ham away, uh, and I haven't sat in front of this camera in what seems like absolutely forever. I've completely forgotten how to make YouTube videos. I've been so busy and not really having a chance to think about Liverpool, but Saturday is almost upon us. The Premier League is nearly upon us. And you know what? I'm ready for it. I'm ready to get stuck into some action finally after what seemed like a long international break. Two goalless draws for England, although I did catch the game last night in which Joe Gomez was so impressive a centre-back for England against Brazil. I know it's a friendly. I know it was his debut. He's always going to be up for it. But wow, that was impressive. That was how to make your England full debut Fair play to him, and look, he's very young, he's going to make mistakes, but maybe he can do a job at centre-half. He, he was at fault for the goal at West Ham, but he's a good young prospect, and I was so pleased to see him do so well last night and deservedly get man of the match. But there's more important things, more important matters at hand. Southampton at home. Now, this is a game I always dread, uh, a game we never seem to win, I know we always struggle, I mean, last season, nil-nil. Uh, the season before, won a piece of game I was at when Sadio Mane equalised for them and got sent off. Uh, the season be before that, I believe we beat them 2-1. The Klein scored for them. The season before that, we lost 1-0 and Lovren scored for them. So players that have gone on to sign for us always seem to do well against us. So, you know, hopefully Ryan Bertrand scores tomorrow. Or hopefully Van Dijk scores tomorrow and then we end up signing him. Um, but, sorry, not tomorrow, Saturday. But, uh, Look, I'm ready for it. We've had three wins in a row. Went into the international break with some momentum. We had the Sadio Mane injury concern, but I, from what I gather, just you know, basically just from looking on social media and looking on online, doesn't seem to be too serious. I'd still expect him to start against the Saints on Saturday. Now, the other, the other interesting ones, obviously Adam Lallana. Will he be back? Will he start? I mean, he played a practice game this week and yesterday, I believe. He seems to be fit and firing. Jordan Henderson uh, has obviously had his issues, but you know, I think he's training again and maybe touch and go wherever he'll play on, on the weekend. Coutinho played for Brazil against England, so he's obviously back in the fold. Uh, Firmino also played that night. So uh, people are coming back to full fitness. Nathaniel Klein's obviously still a concern, uh, going to be out for three months. But finally, it looks like we're going to have some options. Great to have Coutinho back. Mane, obviously, is crucial. And Adam Lallana, who, when he first got injured at the start of the season or in pre-season, I knew it was going to be huge. And I think everyone's really missed him. Everyone's really felt that Adam Lallana shaped hole in our midfield. And it'd be great to fill that. Uh, as much as I don't think we should change much from the West Ham team, uh, it'd be great to see Lallana back in um, against his old club. So let's look at sort of a potential 11 for the weekend. Simon Menele, of course, will start. Going into the defence, um, not really sure on Lovren's well-being. Uh, I would imagine it will stay as it was with Joe Gomez playing at right back and then Matip, Clavin and Moreno filling out that back four. Midfield, no, look, I've got no idea on Jordan Henderson. I don't really know if Lallana's going to be ready. I mean, the midfield that played against West Ham, even though it became kind of more of a 4-4-2 with Oxley chamberlain sort of drifting out to the right at times. Chan and Van Alden really controlled in the middle and Mane pretty much stayed on the left. Um, you know, you could easily move them all across one, have the Oxley chamberlain Van Alden, Chan midfield three, have a Mane uh, on, the, on the left of the front three. Um, either way, in terms of personnel, I think there'll be three out and out midfielders if you include Oxley chamberlain But whether it's Lana or Oxley chamberlain I don't know. Whether it's Chan or Henson, I don't know. I would... I would go with Chan, Vinald and Lallana uh, if I was to pick and choose. Um, Oxley Chairman did great against West Ham and he's coming into form, but for this one, I feel like we're going to need a bit more quality to break down the Southampton side, a bit more uh, guile, a bit more panache. Um, Adam Lallana is just the, the, the king of all those things. He's the king of breaking through the defence, eye of a needle, pace, pressing from the front. He, I've, I've just missed him so much. He, he's probably become a better player since he's been gone, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he is an incredible footballer. He should be one of the first names on our team sheet, and he's in there with Chan and Van Alden for me this weekend. And then, of course, the front three picks itself. Salah, um, the best player in the world. Um, Sadio Mane, the second best player in the world. And then Firmino filling out the team. So that'll be my 11, and I think that 11 should have enough. I mean, I, I do rate Southampton. I know they haven't necessarily been great this season uh, under the former Liverpool defender, Pellegrino. Uh, they've obviously still got some issues. Van Dijk's still not particularly happy there. It'll be interesting to see him at Anfield in a Southampton shirt after what happened. I mean, uh, how's he going to react to everything? Uh, uh, what's his mindset going to be? Um, I mean, uh, is he going to get cheered by, by Anfield? Is he going to get booed? I mean, 
Does anyone going to care? The, the only thing I care about is the three points, and I do expect us to just about have enough. I think it might take us an hour to break them down. We've got to be patient. Um, but, look, we've got a lot of quality on that pitch, back on that pitch after all the injuries. Um, seem to have kind of kind of improved in, in, as far as that's concerned. So, can we keep a clean sheet as well? I mean, we conceded one of our last three. Uh, Southampton will pose a threat. Uh, Gabby Adini probably will play up front on his own, but the likes of Nathan Redmond and Buffal, who have got great pace and skill and obviously going to cause us some problems. Uh, Redmond played really well against us over, over two legs in the uh, Capital One Cup last season, so you know he enjoys a game against us. But I think we're just going to have enough. I think I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool win uh, with Salah and Mane getting the goals. You know Salah scores every week. Mane lo loves a goal at Anfield. Um, so let's be positive, let's go for a 2-0 win here, although I do rate them. If we do win this one, I mean, I, I thought the West Ham game was huge, it was. This one is arguably even bigger. I mean, if we can come back off international break with a win, that sets us up for a run of fixtures which is quite kind. I know we've got Chelsea, but they're in a bit of a, cr not a crisis, but, you know, stuff's happening over there. David Luiz getting bombed, struggling in the Champions League, Chelsea, not obviously living up to the form of last year. Uh, and then we've got games that got good to the likes of Stoke away, Brighton away, um, we, we host Everton, um, I think we'll play West Brom at home, they're Bournemouth away, there's, there's some real winnable games, obviously we've got the Champions League games in there as well, but this game on Saturday could be the start of a run. Um, I, know it's, I know you could say that about any game really, but we need to be keeping up the pressure on the top four. It's not actually that big a gap when you look at it. Uh, it feels like it has been because we were dropping so many points throughout uh, September. Uh, and, and then going into October, we've obviously taken two hammerings in those months as well. But look, if we can just beat Southampton, stay in touch, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of those teams above, above us and around us have got to play each other as well uh, in the next few weeks still. So obviously Arsenal playing Spurs on Saturday, which is a big one. I'm looking forward to that one. But I'm feeling good. I've had a break. It's been a busy few weeks. Um, we've had no Liverpool to worry about for about 10 days now. And I'm feeling refreshed and ready. Um, I, I, I'm not ignoring the problems we've still got. There are still, of course, problems, and hopefully they'll be addressed in January. But let's let's see what we can do. Um, no day trip this weekend. I'm not going to the game, uh, so unfortunately, no day trip video. I know a lot of you did enjoy the West Ham one, which is great. Thanks very much. Uh, but that does mean I'll be able to come straight on after the game and give you my player ratings instantly uh, once the final whistle goes. I will be going to the Chelsea game, so that's probably the next day trip video. Uh, until then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Sorry for being away for so long. Just, you know, as I say, hectic and not much to talk about, really, other than the Emre Chan stuff. Um, I will get into doing some more different, unique content um, once I get some more time on my hands, which should be uh, very soon. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new and drop a like. Comment with your score predictions and your team predictions, anything you want to say about this game upcoming. And I'll see you next time.